it's gonna be seventy eight. Uh, looks like we already got like seven going on eight people. Alright, two more right here. This is um, this is Mike. He's gonna be filming Guitar Godathon the movie. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. You you got short. Come on, I got King Guy with you, man. Welcome to the Guitar Wankathon. <laughs> this is the timer of death. See? Start means you have two and a half minutes, or maybe three minutes if we're feeling good. And then we reset you, and then it's all over until we count the score from one to 30. Get ready to play. Warm up your fingers. <laughs> Number one, Kurt Brown. Number one, make it so. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play like uh, Barry had a little lamb, and it's gonna be in the key of C demented, and it'll go something like this. <laughs> Yeah, well, or was it Green Day? Oh, maybe it was Green Day. <laughs> Which came first? Yeah, because Green Day know. totally ripped them off. I'm surprised they didn't get sued for that. I don't know if you know that. That's the one I'm like, turn up, turn up, turn up. They were a ghost right? What kind of guitar is that? Uh, it's a Kawhi Moonliner. Um, Kawhi is known for their pianos and synthesizers. And uh, it's pretty cool because it's got um, it's got built-in preamp, choice of booster distortion, uh, coil tap, and in and out of phase switch. And um, and the cool thing about it, it's got like, like the neck. It's kind of uh, it's thin like a Strat, but it's got the flatness kind of like a Les Paul. It's like right in between the two. And I've had it since 1982, and I love it. You gonna win? Um, could be. I'm not a speed metal guy, so uh, you know, if they're into like total speed metal, then then I won't. But uh, if they like what I do, then I will. Either way, I have a good fucking time. Here, get, get in the light. Oh shit. Right. 
this is Pat Curiel, number nine. This is the reason why I'm learning to play like Ingve. But I am not worthy! I am not worthy! Tell us your story in the light, please. Pat, where are you from? Where'd you learn how to play guitar? Um, Keep your face in the light. I'm uh, from Vacaville, California. Um, and learned to play Ingve in high school. Learned to actually how to do a lot of things from another guy named uh, Danny Lopez. Um, and he's the one that taught me how to do speed picking and circular picking. And I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes today. How about win? Get a chance? Um, I want to win, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. What, what kind of guitar are you playing? I play an Ibanez, Ibanez um, EX320. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Even, even if I don't, I got a book coming out in the next couple weeks on a, on a new style of playing. So, so, I think the money is the most important thing rather than the prestige. I'm, thanks, man. I'm flattered. So, yeah, but she knows she can play a little bit. So, we got one guy who says he's going to come in after us, never play the guitar. So, that's good. Yeah. Okay, first. <laughs> Where'd you get that, man? Where'd you get that, man? I know, I got it from uh, a friend of mine. And? I don't know. She's pregnant, so she can't wear it anymore. Okay. So I mean, it was, it's, not, it's, it's not Walter hangs out with Testament because he hoards all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Walter Morgan. Number five, right? Okay. Yes. This is number five. This is Jason. He will be in the Guitar god -athon. Please tell us your full name, not address, because we don't want this printed. No, I and the reason why you play guitar and shred. Okay, my name is Jason Edward Kokel. What else did you want to know again? What? Well, I, I play guitar because, uh, you know, I've had this dream ever since I was a little kid that I would save the world with my guitar. Um, but, you know, I also don't have very good self-esteem, so I just, you know, I kind of suck, you know. But, hey, you know, it doesn't matter because um, my guitar is fretless, so, you know, I'll be playing a lot of microtones and stuff like that, you know, so, you know, just be prepared for it to not sound good. Just play what you like. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, well, I guess so. Do you have any strategies for winning this thing? I think my strategy, well, besides to make everyone leave the room, is the first one. Um, and I think maybe once everyone's left the room, they really couldn't be sure if I was any good or not, so it actually might give me more of a chance. Um, so I think that's the angle I'm going for. Um, but I think it's going to work. I think we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see what happens. Guitar God on the movie. This is Mike. He's filming for us. So, um... What's your strategy for winning? My strategy is writing, writing, writing. Like my brother said. This is your brother? Well, they're all brothers. Oh, they're all your brothers. Brothers of the house. Shred, master. Anything you want to add? Metal alive. Where are you from? Italy. Italy. Excellent. What do you think? Of what do you think of Luca Tarelli? Luca, Luca's good. Yeah, they're all good. Italiano. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully we play well. You ever, you ever go to the Olive Garden? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, an Italian restaurant here, dude. It's, it's oh. pretty good. <laughs> No, it's not a They only have like spaghetti and shit. That's a good question, though, dude. Where's Skyline now? Are you entering? Are you entering? No. Right. I'm hiding. Because I can't play guitar. Look, I was photographing him filming. We're making guitar Jonathan the movie. You gotta get on the light, though. Let's go on the light. Can we steal your light? Did you sign up? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, director. 
fucking one. This is number 333 because he's only half evil. John Gossard, tell us the reason why you play guitar. Because I want to be the best. That's about the only reason. What's your strategy for winning? Uh, Throw a touchdown? Play a really good solo. Who's your favorite guitarist? Yngwie and Greg Ginn from Black Flag. Very cool combination. What about Exodus? For Rivage. Amazing Rivage. Thrash with class. <laughs> this ain't about no goldfish. This ain't about no tuna fish. And it definitely ain't about no trout. This song is called Piranha. <laughs> Anyways, it was our drunken idea to have a um, guitar godathon to see, uh, just to get the cream of the uh, crop down here. And, um, you know, it's always exciting when beer talk becomes beer reality. And so far, uh, there's a pretty good turnout, a lot of shredders, a lot of shreddability. Um, who knows, man, we could be uh, indoctrinating the next Ingve.
my guitar, and I'm not even eligible to compete in this contest. But but I'm gonna play something anyway. But as I was saying before, there's already like three people who forgot to bring their own guitars, so they're gonna have to. Use this one. Now maybe change the strings. What's up? My name's Dave Gamble. Say your name first. Uh, it's just it. Okay. My name's Dave Gamble, and uh, I play an Ibanez Prestige. I bought it at uh, Guitar Center. It fell off the rack. And I got it for a half price. And my uh, my strategy for winning is I don't I don't think I'm gonna win. No, I'm just um, I'm gonna like play really fast with technique, and lots of style. I'm gonna fuck him up. Later. Do you have any favorites? Huh? Any uh, favorites to win tonight? Any what? Favorites to win tonight? Um, yeah, the guy from Vicious Rumors and the guy from Laz Rocket favorites, I think.
Why don't you try your courage to exhale our out and directly into the snake? Stop. Tell us what you think about it. There's a, there's a, there's the axe, brother! Oh, there's any time. Metallare di merda! What do you guys think of metal? Metallare di merda! Senti, stiamo perdendo il metallare che sforza. E lui è così metal. Sì? Io posso. 5 dollari? No. I, I don't want to go in, it's five dollars. Starting. Right? Um, 
As soon as he plugs in, he's got three minutes to full shred. Do you have anything to say before you arrive? Ulrich Roth rules. Holy rules. Are you ready? Let let the madness begin. Ten, nine, eight, be loud. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. 
proud of me, too. This is Hammer. Thank you. Oh, man. Dave Gamble, start your fingers. Contestant number two, getting ready. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, right. Awesome, awesome. Dave Gamble, do you have anything to say before you play guitar? Yes, I'd like to say I hope this motherfucker is in tune. Well, so that's your favorite, that's your favorite song, tune in, right? Are you ready? No! Dave G, are you ready? Four, three, two, one, rock and roll, baby!
Are you ready? Five, two, for this guitar so I have to shred on. I love my facial folks. That's rock and roll. Thank <laughs> you. 
we have Jason Coral. Or Coral, I hope I pronounced it. We need you up as fast as you can run. Jason Coral. Here he is. The band's going to take a break to get a drink. Jason wants to play just for his notes. Give it up for Jason! Are you ready? One, two, three, go for it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you ready? Get it up. going on tonight, he'll do some hammer. So here you go. Plug in and play. Okay, hurry up, you gotta get time here. Cool pants, huh? Spend more than a dollar on those, right, woman? I need those for Halo Satan. Go with Are you ready? Plug in! Number eight! Thank <laughs> you. 
Heavy fucking metal. Metal! Stay metal. Metal guys forever. Next, we have contestant number nine. Number nine, Patrick Curiel. Henry from the high school. Everybody? Hey, can you let me let me just ask you? Pat! Pat! Step back up here! Number nine, get off the pack, Curio! The Ralph Boxio Karate Champ!
He's fine, he's alright. Are you ready? Number 11, in the Bay Area, get up for yeah. 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 I'm in black, ladies and gentlemen, Lucifer Samba. Okay, he's going to play by himself, guys. And he wants to make it out. Are you ready? When you hear some noise, it's time to play. Ready, set, go! Oh, John, stand by his own. Hey, what's going on here? We got to... Thank <laughs> you. 
for himself. Let's hear it again. Coming up, number 12, the Roger Starback of our contest will be Chaz Glenn. Please come to the stage. Chaz Glenn, here he comes. Give it up, people. Here we go. Thank you, Sky. Playing in a key of E. The game is in the guitar pedal, my son. Right there. Five, four, three.
Sweatpants right here, girls. <laughs> All right. Number 14, Brett Whitman, please come to the stage. Yeah, yes, sir. Band, no band? Yes, band. Yes, band. Yes, key. Five seconds. Let's go. 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 Are you ready? Plug in and play. This is all in your time. That's the plug in right there. You ready? All right, number 14. Get it for Brad Whitman. Three, two, one. You're on fire, buddy. Gentlemen, number 14. Okay, is this the constellation prize? Whose guitar is this? Mr. Whitman? Whose guitar is this? Don't worry about that, my friend. Well, I can't leave it here. You should carry it. Thank you very much. Okay, number 15, Bill Blair. I don't know if you know that, but that's the name of my boss. And this guy isn't my boss, his hair is about 15 inches longer than you. He's about 15 inches taller than you. Look at James Hetfield! Playing with the band? Yeah.
E flat. Say fuck no, James. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no.
great sign up. We have Pinky Demoniac. She just wanted to go to real skates. Because she's an actress, she's here undercover. But number 17, please come on up, on up Miss Pinky, and plug in. This is our last contestant. This is our last contestant. Let's hear it. Our last contestant.
Ladies and gentlemen, the age I love, 19, Mr. Metal Lucifer Hammer himself, the creator of this fucking metal scene that is still alive in San Francisco. He is here. He is on his knees. He's here to plead. John Cobbett, are you ready to play? What do you have to say, John? Oh, uh, I gotta play some oldies. It's time to play. I'm not old to rule away. There's a pick right there. Nice excuse! <laughs>
bring us together. Give it up for John Cabot. Without him, this wouldn't happen. Thank you. Coming up. The six string slashes themselves totally flips. You're gonna play set for you. And then we're gonna have a few finalists battle it up for his PC Rich. Stay tuned. Sunday, sir! Decapitator and. I was a good fortune. Sunday here for exploding water bottles with his own lips. Thank <laughs> you. 
game or something? Sure, let's, let's, uh... Contestant number five? Which was which Contestant number five. Which was... Wait, wait. What do you do? I got it right here. Contestant number five was... Maybe I do. No, I know. Yeah. Where are the... Oh, they're right over here. Oh, you got it. What are you doing? Five was, was, uh, which guy? Five was the fretless guy. The fretless guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the fretless guy, yeah. Fretless guy. Uh, Contestant yeah. number nine? Number nine was... Who was the, the um... Mild-mannered, dressed man. He was kissing his guitar. Yeah. 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 For the record, had the highest. He score. shook our hands. Yeah. 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 But I believe he is Jonathan's guitar teacher. Yeah. Our MC's guitar yeah. teacher. Yeah. Number, yeah. number yeah. eleven. Yeah. Number yeah. eleven. He had blue long hair. Number sure. eleven was the guy yeah. playing. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's Ira Black. That's Ira from Vicious Run. Oh no, I know. You're so much ass. Ira. I mean, you really got to look at the parody. Number fifteen, number fifteen, which is Bill Blair. Just the guy that the entire song. He was fucking yeah. great. He was he was the best. Plus poetry before and after. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, just yeah. got sort of jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Jazz yeah. surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Number eighteen. And everyone's gonna be surprised. Yeah. Number eighteen. Yeah. The dark horse. The guy who came out the last second. Gene Plugin. Oh right. Plugin. Yeah. Gene Plugin was incredible. Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Plugin. Gene. Plugin. Gene. Well, yeah. But he didn't pull it off. But you know. He didn't pull it off. We like it. He didn't pull off. Pull off. And then if you want to know the the runners up were the the big runners up were number two. Leather pants. Oh, number two, the, the guy, right, guy at the beginning. Major, major technique. The Very fast. That's the, yeah, the guy that shot yeah. the guy. He was, he was, was, he was good. right he was there. Really runner, good. The other runner up was the total man of war crowd pleaser. Oh, the Italian pants. The Italian Because yeah, he, yeah, got, yeah, he got the crowd working. Yeah. Yeah. He was never heard of all Never heard of all At the man of war show, he got up on stage with man of war, I think. Yeah, he was him. Yeah, it was him, yeah. So that's what we got. So those guys get some constellation prizes. Dude, what's, what, you know what's a shame? Yeah. This guy. We don't all agree on it, but we this guy's in the show. But actually, yeah. he's yeah. supposed to be yeah. yeah. pretty close to agreeing on it. Right. And then the math does the rest. Yeah. And you know. No, I mean, you do the math. <laughs> I don't know. You actually do, do the math. math. Why is that good? What is that? Um, this guy, Haley Place, yeah. who, who no showed, yeah. he gave like the raddest interview before. Really? Yeah, like about his, about, his, about how he was gonna win it for his dead friend. He was gonna win it for his dead friend, and man, he had to be number six because he was born in fucking 1966, and it's the number of the beast. And he gave some poem about it. Oh, then he passed out long before. Yeah, yeah, maybe he died. I don't know. Haley Place, though. Yeah, well, he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we could read him. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 yes. Uh, who's, who's your favorites to win? My, my favorites to win. Honestly, Kurt Brown didn't make the finals. I'm very sorry. I'm not a judge. The first guy was great. I think it's gonna be between Ira, Pat Curiel, and uh, and one more guy. One more guy. Oh, the Jason Coral guy. The guy, the friendless with the long hair and the glasses. He said he just likes to play his guitar. He has no self-esteem. That guy's got self-esteem. He's got confidence to play here.